Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to configure a system using IPv6 addressing. In all the previous videos, we have used IPv4 addresses, but in this video, we are going to use IPv6. The first step would be to draw a network. For the sake of simplicity, I am going to use here two routers. Now step one is done. So we are going to move to step two. That is to allocate IP address. Here to the routers, while using IPv6 address, you own you can only use CLI commands. So here on the screen you can see this is a typical IPv6 address. We can write this address also like this this is the short form and suppose if we have an ipv6 address in this form then i can write it as this also so here we have three networks this is network one this is network two and this is network three In network 1, all IP address would be of this form. Here slash 64 indicates the number of hosts. In network 2, that is this network. This network all the IP addresses will be of this form, and in network 3, that is this one, All IP addresses will be in this form. Let's do the easy part first, where we are going to give IP address to all the computers. Since this computer is a part of network one, so this is going to be its IPv6 address. Here in default gateway, you, for this computer, I will provide the address of this router. For this computer, the default gateway is going to be this router. Now for the routers, you will go on CLI. Here for this question, would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? Right, no. Give enable command to enter in privilege mode. In privilege mode, we give command config t so that you can enter in global configuration mode before allocating any ip address 
you have to tell the router that you are going to use IPv6 address it. For that, we give the command IPv6 unicast. Press enter. Now you will enter every interface and give the IP address. For router 0, this is interface 1. Network 1 is connected to interface 1. And network 3, this one is connected to interface 2. So what interface int f0 slash 0. This network is connected. Here you are in that specific interface. Now you will give the IPv6 address. You give the command no shut to enable the router. Now you exit this interface and enter the next interface that is interface f0 slash 1. Don't forget to give the no shut command. Now this router is done and we will move to router 1. No. En. Config T. Then you give the command IPv6 unicast. We will enter the first interface. Which is connected to this computer. You give the IPv6 address. To enable the router, we give the command no shut. Now you exit and we enter the next interface. Now we have assigned all the appropriate IP address. The last step is static routing. For static routing, we once again go in the CLI commands and then here you are in interface configuration mode and static routing is done in global configuration mode. So you give the command exit. For static routing, we give the command IPv6 route and now you will tell this router about the unknown networks. So for router 0, this network is the unknown network. So I will give the IPv6 address of the network. Pay attention, you have to provide IPv6 address of the network. Then you will give the next hop. So for router 0, router 1 is the next hop. Since this is a small network, you don't have to tell it about 
a lot of other subnet was present. Here also we are in global con we are in interface configuration mode. So I give the command exit. Then for static routing we give command IPv6 route. The network it has no idea about that is this network. And then you give the next hop. So this router is the next hop. Now to verify this, I am going to send a message from this computer to this computer. And the message has been sent successfully. So that means all the connections are fine and our static routing is also fine. That's all I have to discuss for this video. If you have any suggestions for me, you can drop that in the comment box. Thank you.